Hiya guys and welcome back to my channel, the channel of the Italian guy. If you don't know me yet, this is Giuseppe, 47 years old and I have been following the keto correct way of eating. I don't consider it to be a diet for two years and few days so far. Today I'm going to show you another savory recipe. We keep keeping, we keep keeping, we keep uh, uh, posting a savory recipe on the channel after a lot of uh, sweet recipes. Today I'm going to show you the Keto uh, Parmigiana Zucchini or Courgette as they say in the United Kingdom with bechamel gluten free and uh, egg white free. Let's see straight away how to make it. Okay, let's start our zucchini parmigiana by preparing the bechamel. 200 milliliters of heavy double cream in a saucepan. 100 grams of cream cheese, as low as in carp you can find it. So we have to bring those two to the boil. Yeah, that's are the only two ingredients we need apart salt and uh, nutmeg. The nutmeg, yeah. So uh, we have to bring this this uh, liquid, so to say, to the to the boil, and then simmer it. So uh, now, yeah, half teaspoon of salt and uh, half teaspoon of nutmeg and that's it the nutmeg is the essential ingredient for the bechamel so let's stir let's keep stirring the flame is high under the saucepan let's keep stirring so that the cream cheese gets completely melted among, uh, inside the, with the double cream the heavy cream and keep stirring because all those small pieces that you can see they have to be completely dissolved while the, the liquid is uh, bringing to the boil. Yeah, you don't have to, to see those ones. So keep stirring until we, uh, the, the boil... Yeah, okay, it's boiling now. It's boiling, so uh, low the flame so that the, the double cream will uh, simmer. Yeah, okay, this way is fine. Keep stirring while the double cream is simmering. You have to see those bubbles. And don't worry, they will thicken uh, later once it gets cooled down. Yeah, th this stage is fine, you see, it stick to the spatula. So this way it's, it's fine, no need for xanthan gum and whatever. Those are the kind of courgettes I have used, I will use only three. I thought four, but three were enough. And here is the, the whole uh, ingredients. So on the top left you see the parmesan mixed with pecorino. On the bottom uh, left you see the, uh, the bechamel and then the ham. Let's start by putting the first layer on the bottom of the, the container. Yeah, you see it's thick enough, the, it's thick enough, the bechamel, no need for any thickener. And let's continue this way. I will uh, jump straight to the conclusion, I don't want to bother you. And uh, I, var I, I varied. I put first uh, uh, ham, then bechamel, then uh, ingre the, the parmesan. I, I changed the order of those ingredients, so feel free. I have fun in doing this. <laughs> okay, so let's keep putting any more uh, bechamel. You can see how thick it is. And let's continue this way. Okay, we are almost ready now. This is the, the last layer. And uh, I put some um, uh, parmesan on the top so that you can ac activate the grill function of your oven so that you have a gratinated, gratinated effect on the top as you will see in the, as you have seen in the picture, in the thumbnail picture of the video. And uh, 350 degrees Fahrenheit if you're in the US or 180 Celsius if you are in Europe for 20 minutes 
it doesn't matter if this is a static oven or a fan oven and okay that's it buon appetito and so here we are that's it it's really 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 delicious um, I put too many bechamel, I acknowledge this, but I really, really love this sauce. So if you don't like too much bechamel in the, in the whole um, parmigiana, it, it will feel too, many, too much in the mouth, you know, when you, when you taste the product. Just alternate uh, once every two layers, one layer of bechamel every two layers of uh, zucchini, for example, or whatever. I, I do like it when it's a lot but of course the tastes are personal okay let's taste it now <laughs> whoops I am in heaven. Mm. It's sublime, believe me. Delectable, exquisite, scrumptious. I can't find any other adjective to describe it. Really, 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 really delicious. I didn't put any more salt on the zucchini, on the courgettes, because I knew that the salt contained into the parmesan and the pecorino cheese in the ham and also the salt we put in the bechamel would be enough to salt also the courgettes and that was the right choice let me know if you put any other thing mortadella or brezaola i don't know how to say brezaola is a kind of meat that comes from the beef maybe it's the same i don't know right now let me know in, your, in the comments the how you you dress it so you don't need any other um adensante thickener thickener in English for making the bechamel no xantangam, no agar agar, no guar I don't know how to pronounce it right now just let it uh, boil uh, uh, lightly and uh, simmer, simmer, yeah, let it simmer for a while and uh, you see it will be automatically thickened by itself there is no, no need to, to put any uh, thickener inside in the bechamel let me know if you like this, this recipe, your comments, please subscribe to the channel by clicking the red button underneath. And if you like this recipe, share it on your Facebook walls, Instagram, Twitter, whatever. It will help me to uh, grow and grow. Thanks to you, I reached and passed the 3,000 followers on YouTube and I'm very, very happy of this result. I need your help again to go to 5,000 now. I really... Um, uh, appreciate the comments that uh, you guys put underneath um, the praise you give me and the encouragement you give me to continue it really really appreciate it okay that's it next week if you are interested into it i will tell you how i switched to keto lifestyle because of my degenerative sicknesses i can say yeah problems so to say so stay tuned for next video that will be a different, not a recipe, but my story. Again, thank you so much for your support and subscribe to the channel. Ciao.